Hello guys, you are welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we are looking at something very interesting. I want to show you how to quickly cut out your images from your background in less than two minutes. Less than two minutes, you are done. Okay, so you need to be need to know this that this particular procedure works only on uh, images that are in a contrasting background, like black against white, blue against any other color that is contrasting. If it's busy, you, this may not really work. This one is just for images that are in a contrasting background. Okay, so to quickly get into it, just pick up your selection tool, select object. Let's wait for it. Just pick up your select subject and it's going to do the job. Then you might want to feather. You can feather by two pixels. Create a mask for it. If your mask is inverted, you can press Ctrl I to do that to re it. Then double click on the mask. You are going to see your property. If your property is not showing up, go to Windows and find it somewhere around here. It's going to show up. Then go to Select and Mask. Go to Select and Mask. Nearly you come into Select and Mask, most of the job is done already. So let's go to Refine here. Go to Refine here. It's going to refine the here. You can as well. Let's do this so that we can be seeing the effect of all we are doing. Let's just go back. Create a solid color adjustment layer. Maybe a red color, then place the image above so you can see the effect of what you are doing. Then go back to your mask. So now you can go to refine here. If it's spilling too much, you can as well just pick up your, your refine hair brush and just paint around the hair like this. I think that one was spilling into the image, so I didn't want it to do that. So you just pick up your brush and paint around the hair like this. It's going to do the one it will do. The next thing you need to do is on your Smart Reduce. Make sure your Smart Reduce is on and just increase it a little. Increase it a little. As you're increasing it, be watching the effect on your image. Like this. Beautiful. Increase the smoothness a little. Use the feather a little. Go to the contrast. We need to increase it a little. See what it's going to do for you. Shift the edges towards inside. Notice that the white halos are gone and you are good to go. So I'm still seeing few stuffs in the hair. So we might just need to paint with your refined hair brush over like this. So we might just need to paint over those white areas like this. Just take care of those. white leaves just like this so just take your time and make sure you get your own perfect but this is how you can change you can separate your hair from your background in just few minutes and you can place it on any other background and you will not be having all the white halos that you've been having on your images so i'm going to press ok to apply everything we've done so just go and press ok all right so we are done of course, you can go back and make sure you use your refined airbrush to, to clean up the white e edges. I do not want to waste your time, but we are good to go. We've done most of the parts. So you can actually start changing the color of your of your background from maybe pick up any color. You're going to notice that most of them are gone. If you are still seeing some white halos, you do not want to still go and readjust it a little more and readjust it just a little more to make sure you are You've gotten rid of all the hellos that are not supposed to be there. Okay, so I just press OK. Let's change the colors again. See what we will get. Nice. Okay, so where's the hue? You see the white hellos are gone. I think I was still having it a little in the red. So if anyone you put and you feel you are still seeing white hellos, just go in and make the edges go a little bit closer. And you are good to go. This is how you can change your image from any background to any color of your choice in less than two minutes. In less than two minutes. Remember, this only works on images that are in contrasting backgrounds. Images that are in contrasting backgrounds. If it's busy, it may not really work for you. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. See you on our next video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Thank you.